What is happening guys? Welcome back. So this is an accompanying video to Fitting the Air Ride 2, the Mark 1 Golf. I filmed everything and was going to put it all in one episode and it was going to end up being about an hour long. So I split it down. I've gone through. I've got one video talking about the management system, which is up here. The video of us fitting it to the car, which is up here. Two, this video is about the BC Racing coilovers bagged by OCD air ride conversion kit. So taking the coilover spring off and putting the airbag on. Hopefully everything I talk about makes sense and is in sequence, but this is us doing this conversion to these and how we did it. Enjoy. So bags by OCD, coilover to air ride conversion kit. BC racing coilover is now off the car. Front one here, rear one here. Bags are here, front and rear. These are differentiated by a different size hole in the top. So, I'll put a link in the description and up here somewhere to the Only Charge Dubs video that they've done on it. Um, that's pretty much what I followed, just figured we'd put this in the video as well. So, first thing we've got to do is strip them down. Now, there's a video on the front, but there's no video on Only Charge Dubs on the rear, but I think it's pretty obvious how you do it, but we'll go through that one anyway. So, first thing you've got to do is strip the strut down and to remove, with the correct spanner, the dampening adjuster. Which just pops out like that. Then 19 mil socket on a gun. Just like that. That one comes off. We're going to need that later. Top mount we'll need as well. And then pretty much everything else we're not going to need. So top of the spring housing, if you like, whatever it is, spring, dust cover and bump stop, we don't need. This plastic spring perch, and then the bottom collar, we don't need either. This. We don't, we need to make the home. These are obviously have been on the car, so there's a bit of dirt in the thread, so we need to make sure we get rid of all of that. It won't come off and we'll damage the thread. Collar off after a bit of messing around. Make sure the threads are all clean. On here, there's a little sticker just on here. You need to remove the sticker and I'm going to clean the residue off as well. Otherwise, the bag won't seal to the strut because the seals sit on this face, obviously. That's that clean. Now, front bag is the one with the bigger hole and in your fitting kit, for putting it on, you get three bits per strut you've got. Get it out of the packet. A rubber O-ring which is what goes on top of the strut, which is what this sits on and seals to. You get a new pillow ball support washer, which is what sits on top of the bag. And then your pillow ball goes on it and your nut, your bolt, your nut goes on the top. I think these nuts that come with it are for if you're not running camber adjustable or pillow ball top mount. I think, don't quite mind that. Um, if you're unsure, contact Only Charge Dubs and they will most definitely help you out and let you know what's going on. And then from memory, you want a measurement of around 65 to 70 mil, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, I can't remember, it was a few days ago. Go and watch their video, because it will explain. You want about 65 to 70 mil from this top edge to this collar, and that's how much the bag will go on. So we're gonna move it down to about 75 mil, just so that we know we've got enough to get the bag on, which we're just gonna mean moving everything all the way down. So we're down at about 75 mil now. So what we want to do, O-ring goes up on to the top of the strut like that. I'm going to put a little bit of lube on everything just so that we know everything's going to be okay and do what it needs to do and seal. We've got a bit on there. We'll put a bit around this strut at this edge where the, bear, the rubbers are going to sit. You don't need to go mad with it, but just a little bit to help the rubbers seat. To get the rubbers moist to start with, that's them on. 
right. And then your bag just goes over the top, making sure to not damage anything around the threads. Wind the bag down, and you'll know when you're in the right place because it'll come to a complete stop. If it goes a bit tight, you need to keep going with it. You'll know when it comes to a complete stop that you're in the correct place. Which is there. Yeah, in the right place. That is that. Down and in the correct place. So if you bring this bottom locking washer up to lock the strut off. Don't want to nip that. Uh, you do want to nip that one up. The bag one we want to nip up for now, so the bag can't go anywhere. The bottom one we want to, if we can, loosen back off. And I'm just going to go and measure what's on the car because I've set the other side to where I want it to sit. So we'll measure where this hub mount wants to be in relation to the bag. So on mine, we want about 13 mil between. The two colours, somewhere over there. And we don't want to nip that up because we need to get make sure that the bag and the outlet is all in the correct place. Talking of the outlet, we'll put that in now. So on mine, I've just got these 90 degree elbows that go in, and it's not the right size, but 14mm spanner does work. So you need an imperial one do it correctly. And then on the front, on here we've got this new support that comes with the kit. Pillarboard top mount goes on over that new collar. Nut goes on top. Goes up. Like that. So that's the front one built. Let's build the rear, which is pretty much the same principle. We get keep the rubber because we need that. I think we get we keep the top perch. No, we don't. We get rid of the top perch, rid of the spring, rid of the dust cover, rid of the bump stop, plastic base. Probably unlock these before we just off the car. Threads out the microfiber so it grips everything. We only want that collar again, stick up, remove the sticker from here, otherwise, it won't seal. And in the rear pack, you've got the rubber o ring again. Apparently, doesn't want to come out the packet. And you've got this time. A washer. Now I'm assuming that what I'm going to do is correct. The bearing goes on top. Grease. Right. Nice and wet to start with. That goes onto the strut as before. And again, it will wind down until it comes to a stop, and you'll know when it's in the right place. I'm just going to chuck it in the vise, make sure we get it in the right place. Okay, yep, yeah, that's in the right place. Swap this up. Tight. So, right. Then I believe this washer sits on top like that. I believe 
the rubber goes on top like that and it just goes in the car like that you don't need any of the original ones because this has got lip a big lip built into it that holds the spring in if you set that on there you're going to have all the weight of the car on a tiny little edge so i'm assuming what we're doing is correct so that's that one i'm just going to set the height of this one now compared to what's on the car the other side and throw them back in So that's them done, sorted. We're getting fitted to the car now. Um, and if you want to see how it sits and how it all finishes off, you'd have to go and watch the video of us actually fitting it all to the car, which is up here somewhere. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and learned something. Until next time, enjoy.